today, ladies and gentlemen, New York City, 61 degrees. We're still in the middle of this pandemic right now, and the order went into effect on Friday at 8 p.m. that just passed, today is Sunday, that you have to have a mask on when you're in public. I'm in the car right now, in my own personal car, so for video purposes, I do not have it on, but I have been wearing this mask like you wouldn't believe. So. Uh, if you're in gatherings, if you're out on the street, you're gonna pass somebody, you have to have the mask on. But like I said, it's preference if you're in your car, so I do not have mine on right now. But it is real here in New York City. This lockdown is real. And it's hurting a lot of things that I wanna do video-wise, but eventually we'll get through it. We're in track mode right now in Genzel Supercharged. And the only great thing about this quarantine, this lockdown, like I've told you guys, is the roads are somewhat open. But, you know, we're gonna park and we're gonna get into what this video is about and that is the stow and show plate for the uh, wide bodies. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but in a couple of videos back, I tried to use my last stow and show on my, uh, that I had on my Daytona 392 and it was just, it, it didn't fit. So, since there's a new bumper on this car, basically that bracket does not fit. So, I got it in my trunk right now. It took stow and show a while to get the uh, wide body plate uh, bracket ready uh, for this car and they finally did so I was on it every day and they got it so I jumped on it and I ordered it it came in I would say about three days ago so I'll see you guys in a minute So here we go right here, saving your bumper since 2012, quick release, front license plate bracket, all right, and Stow and Show. So Stow and Show is the company that I've used with my last bracket. Here's the order number right here, Sam, Nora Sam 230, Big Mike's Performance. And it's for the 2020, as you can see right here, the 2020 Dodge Charger Wide Body, the upper mount, quick release, front license plate bracket. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna show you what my old one looks like. The old one would not fit, all right, on that last narrow body uh, charger that I had, which is the same body style as, as a Hellcat uh, 2019 and below. The bumper is not a wide body. So, you know, on the front of this car right now. All right, so there's six pre-existing holes on the front of these cars. It's the same way on the last uh, 2019s and down to 2015s chargers. It was the same six pre-existing holes. So under this plastic piece right here, here's a hole and there's a hole so that's two right there all right the bracket could probably fit over here on this side this is where i kind of want it i want it over here so here's the two in the center that's right here and then here's the the last two that's over here pre-existing screws there's screws in here right now but i won't put it over here i want to put it over here on this side all right so i want to use these two right here put the bracket off uh, to, the, to the right of the car on the passenger side. So this is where I wanna put it in. All right, so what Stow & Show gives you in this box is pretty much you get the plate mount, all right, which I showed you is the exact same as the one that I had on uh, my last Daytona 392 that I still have in the trunk. So it's the plate mount, it has this, like I said, this triangle looking shape and you get the bracket right here at the bottom that you can see that goes on the uh, inside of your, um, that goes under your uh, the plastic piece of your car, which is uh, preventing you from having to drill in the bumper.
definitely not going anywhere. All right, so it, it will not fit over here on the passenger side. It's not gonna fit. You have to put it in the center. So it won't fit on both sides unless you drill. Lorenzo, here, he already looks. So you're not gonna be able to put it on the passenger side or on the driver's side. It's got to, it, it has to fit right in the center unless, you know, lined up how they got it set up. Unless you want to make some, some new holes in, in, your, uh, in your cover. All right, it's definitely not going anywhere. It's on there. Right, guys so some reasons why you would want a stow and show plate now if you're into car shows how I'm into car shows I go to car meets or if you want to take this car to the track more so for car shows you know people are taking pictures of your car and that's why I got the shade plate I got to go to my guys at Bronx Auto Sport that will be another video where I get them to uh, re uh, reinstall my uh, my shade plate that's in my trunk right now on this new Daytona Hellcat but to have no plates at a car show is always ideal in my case you know people you know if they take pictures of your car you're at a car show you don't want your, your, your plate exposed you don't want your plate out there like that that's one of my main reasons that I do it and of course you know it's just of course it just looks better this car just looks better when you do not have a front plate but of course in New York and a lot of states like Texas and a lot of other states you have to have a front and rear plate on cars uh, by law. Now in some states you don't have to have a front plate so you wouldn't even have to get a stow and show but you do have to have of course a rear plate. But the fact of the matter is, is the stow and show is a great option to give you that flexibility to not have a front plate in a situation where you may not want it. Now in the front of this stow and show they have a rubber tab that is uh, in the center of the plate of the bracket so that when you are at high speeds uh, I'm jumping on the highway right now and I don't have the front plate on I, it's in my trunk but if you were to hit it and if a gust of wind was to push the plate back you know it won't those the back of those those screws will not you know hit the front of your bumper but if they do in my case you know my car is wrapped so you know it's not that big of a deal but you still don't want it to happen but that is the main gist of a stow and show is to give you that flexibility to remove the front plate if you know if you want to just for your own purposes if you're going to the track you don't want that rattling or whatever and if you're going to a car show you don't want your plate out there you know or if you just want to have that look of no front plate you have that flexibility to have a stow and show with the pin pull the pin to the right and pull the plate out and they work well i had one on my last daytona 392 and this is my second one so i would highly recommend them it's a very easy install as you see it's real easy to put on and it's a real quick install you need a t15 torque wrench with a 10 millimeter socket but that is going to do it for this video make sure you're subscribed make sure you have that bell clicked and i will see you in the next one and ladies and gentlemen that's gonna be a wrap